Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. And today I'm going to be showing you how to carve pumpkins the extreme way with a high voltage power supply. So in one of my previous videos, I showed the ZVS power supply and how I built it. The ZVS power supply can deliver a high voltage at a relatively high amperage. So it can be used for carving a pumpkin. Now, when this power supply carves a pumpkin, it doesn't carve it the normal way, where it makes a hole completely through. It makes these kind of indentations and holes. This is an example of one of the marks made by the high voltage power supply on the pumpkin. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is put a piece of metal into the pumpkin. This will act as your ground. So I'll take the ground clip of my ZVS power supply and attach it to the screw. So what this will do is this will ground the pumpkin so that way I can use the high voltage power supply to make holes in it. You also need to carve the pumpkin and empty it of its seeds. You can also carve whatever you would like onto the face of the pumpkin. So here we go! As you can see, it has burnt this small hole pattern inside the pumpkin. This hole pattern looks kind of ordinary at the moment, but once you let time set in, this whole area where I have shocked it starts to collapse. It starts to collapse into patterns such as this, and patterns such as this. This method works because when the high voltage strikes the pumpkin, it bursts the plant cells, and so the cell wall collapses. And even though it looks fine in the beginning, when you shock it, because all the cell walls are collapsed, gravity eventually pulls them in, and it makes it into this indentation with these white dots inside where the high voltage actually burnt through. You have to wait about six or seven hours for this effect to take place. So, I'll finish carving my logo into this pumpkin. So as you can see, the pumpkin looks really cool with this high voltage treatment to it. Kind of makes it look like it has scars or something. But anyway, this is a really cool way to make a, a pumpkin that has these cool little scar patterns on it by using high voltage. As you can see on this side, the high voltage center tech logo also works very well. As you can see, it has the ring that's kind of collapsed, and the two T's are collapsed. Overall, high voltage is a really cool way to add details to your pumpkin and make him look more scary. As always, thank you for watching and please subscribe.